So at my early screening for this movie, they had it at one of those dine-in theaters, you know, where you could order food and watch a movie. I don't recommend eating food when you watch this movie. That's a warning. X is the latest A24 horror movie that stars the likes of Jenna Ortega and Kid Cudi. Set in 1979 in rural Texas, we follow a group of adult filmmakers going out to make an adult film. But when the old lady who's the tenant of the house they're renting to make this movie finds out exactly what they're up to, things start to get very, very bloody. And that's all pretty much it without giving any spoilers to you guys. This will be a spoiler free review. And now when it comes to A24 movies, it's kind of funny because their dramas, I actually tend to like a lot. I think there's only a few A24 movies that I didn't end up liking as much as other people. But on the other side of that, when it comes to their horror movies, they're actually hit or miss for me. But along with that, I also hate how there's this subculture of fans who love of A24 that if you're someone who just doesn't like an A24 movie, so oh, you're just not smart enough to understand. You don't get the peak cinema you're witnessing when they have a slow pan and a character is randomly dancing to some opera music. Produced by A24. Though I can appreciate what's on screen, it just sometimes doesn't resonate with me the same way it resonates with others. Some of my favorites that they have come out with though, so you know where I stand, are movies like Hereditary and Green Room. So when I saw the trailers for X, I was one interested just to see Jenna Ortega in a horror movie because recently she's just become this horror queen, but it gave me vibes of a slasher film and that's my favorite subgenre in horror. Having seen the movie now, I freaking love this film. As of me reviewing this movie right now, it is at 100% Rotten Tomatoes, and that actually kind of surprises me because I don't think this is going to be a movie for everybody. Starting off with some of the positives of this movie, yes, this movie does give off those late 70s, early 80s slasher film vibes, where it's just a group of adults getting naked and someone's out there trying to get them one by one. And let me tell you, this film does not hold back on the blood and gore. I want to give major props to Ty West, the director here, because I think it's really easy just to put blood and guts on screen without it having much of an effect. But what he was able to do here in X really builds up your suspense. He sets up shots where you see the impending danger to where it starts making your stomach squeal. You want to cover your eyes. You want to look away because you know this person's about to go through something horrible, yet you can't and you just want to see what's going to happen to that person. There was a lot of great moments like that in this movie. The cast is also something I definitely want to praise because although I was there for like Jenna Ortega and maybe Kid Cudi as a bonus, every single cast member in this film had a moment to shine, brought something to the table that made it fun to watch. You think if you're watching a group of adult filmmakers who are out there making corn, can't say the real word or YouTube takes this video down, but in true A24 fashion, they give these characters substance. You understand what they're going through, why they're doing the things they do, like making an adult movie. And it even feels kind of relevant to today where corn workers are empowered and how they're not people you should just be ashamed of because of their line of work. So yeah, the slasher fan in me was very happy. Well-developed characters that I did not want to see get hurt, actual blood bloody kills, well-built suspense, but then the movie became something I was not expecting. I'm not going to give away too much about this movie because it's better if you just witness it for yourself if this sounds appealing to you, but there is this unexpected love story that happens in X that when I say unexpected, I literally mean unexpected. And that love story that they play off here that you get to witness a little firsthand is both disgusting, but so heartwarming at the same time, you can't help but go... Aww. And I think that's what really made me like this movie. It'll make you feel kind of gross. You'll feel disgusting at some of the things you witness on screen. But there is real heart in this movie and a direction you weren't expecting them to take. And being that this is an A24 horror movie, I also just liked how it wasn't so over-reliant on symbolism, metaphors, or slow-moving shots. Don't get me wrong, this movie does have a bit of a slow burn quality to it, particularly the first half, where they're setting up all these characters and the location. But once that turning point happens, mid way into the movie and things start to get bloody, it is just one heck of a ride that you can't look away from as much as you want to. If I did have to mention any negatives about the movie, I will say the ending didn't hit me as hard as the movie was probably intending to. A lot of that is because they didn't pay that much attention to one specific character. While they for sure have their moment in this movie, I felt if we just got a little bit more time with that character, the ending would have hit me a little more. But that was really like my only gripe because the movie was on such a wild ride that when it ended, I was like, all right, I guess that's the ending. So for A24's X, I'm gonna give action two stars. Like I said, this is still an A24 movie, so they do take their time in developing the characters and the setting and whatnot. So it has a bit of a slow pace to it, meaning all the big action chases and whatnot happen towards the end. Comedy in the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars. This film was actually surprisingly funny. That's something I didn't mention in the review. There's a lot of moments in here where they're kind of poking fun at themselves and just kind of having a good time with the movie. And I guess maybe that's why I liked it a little more, because while it did have its serious moments, it was still a 
fun film. Drama in the film, I'm gonna give it four stars. I'll be honest, as a slasher fan, it has gotten harder and harder for them to come up with a good reason for why someone would be slashed around. But the unexpected love story in here and the real motive behind what's going on made this film so much better. Horror in the film, I'm gonna give it three and a half stars. There is a lot of gross, disgusting, squealing moments in here that I think will make your stomach turn. I think you'll for sure be terrified quite a bit throughout the movie. Suspense the film, I'm gonna give it four stars. Ty West, the director here, really knows how to set up a shot where you see the danger coming and you just can't look away until it finally happens. Casual fans, I'm gonna give it a B minus. Cinephiles, I'm gonna give it a B plus. And critically, I'm going to give it an A plus. For A24's X, I think this is one you add to your collection at home. That's a keeper. It's really not gonna be a movie for everybody, but if you can get past some of the disgusting gore, if that's not your thing, which that's my thing, then it's the love story and the meaning behind why everything is happening that I think makes this film kind of poetic. Let me know if you're gonna be checking out X or if you have already seen the movie, what did you think about it? Cause like, holy water on the eyes, right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris, take care.